um, uh, edit them so that we can put them in YouTube format type, you know, introduction, everything like that. You know what mm. I mean? So I definitely got to find somebody that can do that. I think my boy can do that. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, guys, you know, what's up, what's up, what's up? Let me, let me just make sure, hold on, because I know we had somebody that wanted to tune in while they're working. Let me just... Oh, we texted. The group... Um, quick, quick shout out to Dogecoin. All right, just want to say that quick, quick shout out to Dogecoin. The Dogecoin is barky. That 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 is crazy. I don't know what happened. Listen, all I know is this: if it dips, I'm buying more. That's all I'm saying. All right, that's all I'm saying. So, today, we're talking about age difference in relationships, all right? Uh, and I'm not talking more like, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not really saying about, you know, two, three years, four years, of, you know, not like that. I'm talking about like, if y'all were born in 99 and you didn't know somebody who was born 89, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that them, them sugar daddy, cougar mama type, you know what I mean? Um culturally culturally I feel like it's always a given the man the man should be older mm. but why do you think that is though uh I mean honestly it just comes down to at that point you're assuming that the dude he's one he's like mature mentally he's got his like at least has a solid job at this point probably has his whole career figured out he's not kind of just running around like a headless chicken like most young people are because it's like I don't know what I'm doing yet True. But all right, all right, all right. I mean that's that's viable, but how often is it that the older man has his shit together? It's probably really not that often. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> you know what I mean? Like what, like 30 35 40 percent maybe? Jeez. What do you think is lower than that? It's probably lower because yo, the amount of times you hear people say, uh I wanted I, I wanted to date somebody older because people in my age range are immature. Mm. When I hear that, I go, what is, uh, like, you really immature yourself then? Uh, we have Kevin <laughs> coming through, so hold on. Let me, oh, let me, let me, let me try me to jump in. Quick. Let, me, let me invite him real quick. I got you, fam. I got you. I got you, Kevin. Boom, boom. We should, we should be coming in. Can't get... <laughs> Yeah, you should be able to come through. I don't feel like dragging you. You gotta work. You gotta work yourself. <laughs> By your pull yourself up. By your bootstraps. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'll just drag you. It's all good. It's all good. There you go. Boom. There he is. It is. I don't know why it glitches out every time. <laughs> so uh, basically, we have we're just saying like how how often do you hear in that somebody in your age group says. They would date somebody else outside of their age group because their age group is too mature. And I'm saying that that alone shows immaturity. That that right there shows that you are maybe the one who's immature for your age, right? Because of the fact that you are refusing to acknowledge that there are people that are like you, right? The, the mature, right? There are people that are like you in within your age group, within your parameters, and you're going, nah, not these ones though. <laughs> not 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 these ones though. I want I want that person over there, right? That person who clearly could be my dad or my mom, like that. That's the figure, and I and I feel like I don't know why, but I feel like it has something to do with the parental figure. I I don't know why. But there is a strong chance for me that it has something to do with the parental figure. Hmm. So, like, either it's like they didn't have a father in their life, or if it's like the guy looking back, he's going to go for a younger chick who he thinks can be a good mother if he didn't have a mother figure in his life. Actually, actually I think it'll be the opposite. I think somewhat that it's the person who's over-infatuated with their parents. Hmm. Right, like, 
if you like, and this is where I often saw it is if your dad was someone who always looked out for you, but like in the in the weirdest of ways in regards to like never said no, you know, spoiled you to to, to God knows what, da, da da da, then you were more prone to then go out to a older male because you felt since your dad was able to give you all that stuff, you could then get that as you grew up from another older male who is around your dad's age because. Again, your dad showed you he can give you whatever you want. So you start looking for that in an older male as well around your dad's age. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, you know. You know. Uh, Jerry, you got something for this? I mean, no, I mean, for me, it was just like, I think what Duncan said in that second half, I agree with completely. I think that can happen. I think the way you're raised, um, like kind of your values and your priorities – and so, yeah, if you're getting, if your parental figures are ones that dote on you and like make you feel safe and secure and kind of give you everything you want and you find an older man or woman that treats you the same way, you're going to find comfort in that. Yep. Is that necessarily a negative thing? I don't think so. If the relationship's healthy, the relationship's healthy. That's kind of the, the weird part about like relationships and age. Like as much as you want to be able like, oh, they're 10 years apart. Okay. 10 years apart when you're 30 and 40 isn't really that bad compared to like 30 and 20. So Fair. like, as like, I think we can all agree as you get older, the age gap, we can all probably go, all right, it doesn't really matter that yep, much. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I mean, cause like the, if we're being honest, like the only time like age and dating is like taboo. It's like if a 50 year old is dating a 30 year old, like, yeah, you could judge it. You could think it's creepy, but like, that's really two consenting adults. Like the only time it gets creepy is when you're dealing with minors and yeah, like they, teenagers. They both experience and I, life. I, 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 th I think that's the only time like that's when somebody should step in and say, this is a little too much. And that's within reason. Like, I don't think, I don't necessarily think like a 19 year old hitting on like on a 17 year old is that egregious mm -hmm. or like I make the argument for 16, like don't do that. But like, if you guys have known each other for a long time and like you're already in like a pre existing relationship, like it is what it is. Like everything's different, like conceptually. Like it, just wait two or three years. Mm -hmm. Like wait till wait till they're a full consenting adult before you do anything. Like don't don't push that boundary. <laughs> all right, all right. That, that's valid. That's valid. Cause cause I think Jared's seen the post that I shared on Facebook. Uh this, oh, this yeah, YouTube. girl this girl put um she's twenty one. And she's dating a 41-year-old. And my thing was, I remember me at 21. I don't think I was, I, I mean, I was an adult, but I don't think I was an adult that experienced as much as I, you know, compared to now, you know what I mean? But I think that was still, like, my last phase as a kid was 21. Like, that's when you could legally drink all the other shit, right? And I mean, we know a lot of people huh, that, that didn't know what the fuck they were doing at 21. You know what I mean? But... My issue wasn't with the female, right? It was with the male, right? Because my thing is, what are you doing seeking out somebody around 20 years younger than you that literally could be your daughter? You know what I mean? Like, is there an underlying factor to that? Because you don't you don't just randomly, like, a, as a 41-year-old man, you don't just randomly, oh, the 21-year-old girl, let me call at her and shit like that. No. Um... Even even in college, I had the experience of some like almost dating somebody who was four four years young, older than me, and even that was taboo due to Caribbean tradition. Low key, of I was I was the younger one. I was the male. I was the younger one by four years, and she couldn't date me because of my age. Everything else was fine, but she couldn't date me because of my age, because then her friends would talk, and then her family would talk, and all this other shit. You know, and, and, and Jared, as you know, with the Caribbean culture, it, it we kind of have low-key strict guidelines with certain shit. You know what I mean? It's not until we finally say, yo, you know, who, who, who gives a fuck? But we have strict guidelines when it comes to certain shit. So when you're, with, like I'm again, like Kevin said, if I'm 30, 31 and she's 35, that's different. Right? That four-year difference, that's different. But it was the fact that I was 19 and she was 23. And it's like, Oh, she like as soon as she knew my age, mind you, she didn't know my age prior to that, right? But that's when we was getting along. But when she found out my age, it was like, oh, he's still a kid, like you know what I mean? Like 
What do you, what, like, how, how, like, do you think that's a good thing in regards to, like, how we should proceed it? Like, how we should look at people's mental and everything like that based off of age? Or should we more look at who they actually are, the mentality, everything like that? Because at 19, I, I kid you not, I had nothing established. The only thing I had established was me trying to get an education. <laughs> that was basically it. I don't, so I think it's both. Like I, and I, it'll come back down to that a lot. I don't, you can't strictly look at age and you can't strictly look at like how they interact with you as a person. Mm-hmm. Cause like, don't get me wrong. You two probably, you two could have been perfect together. Mm-hmm. Like you were saying, like you had nothing going for you at that time other than getting your education. Yeah. I shouldn't say go, going for it. Like you, that was the one thing you were like, all right, I'm getting my education. That's, like, that's, that's the it. one thing I'll focus on really. So it, that age difference there can give the older person an understanding of where you at, are at mentally. Like, where are you? Mm. Like, me at 19 is different from me at 23 right now. Like, that's yeah. four years. Yeah. It's, I mean, me at 19, I was in college digging around. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> like, now it's like, all right, I got a job. I got to wake up every day, go to work, bust my ass, yeah. come back home, try to stay in shape. It's getting harder as you get older. Like, it's just it's like the mentality of, like, what, like, where you're at in life is a very, um, it's just it's different depending on your age. And a, a good counter example to this is that when I graduated high school and the girl I was dating, mm-hmm. she maturity wise and what she wanted to do, she like had like her five year plan, yeah. like completely laid out. I had I'm going to school and playing football. Like we're <laughs> gonna see how we're gonna see how this rolls, mm-hmm. right? And I think that was part of the reason why we ended up breaking up. Part all the part was probably long distance, but at the same token, like her maturity level was higher than mine at that time. I could say that without a shadow of doubt. Mm -hmm. Was that because of age? We were the same exact age. She had me by like eight months, 10 months. Mm -hmm. But so having that idea that like, oh, this guy's 19, I'm 23. Like, what is she focusing on? She's like, I got to pay the bills every day. I got to go to work. I got to do this. Like, meanwhile, you, you're like, I had an 8 a.m. today. I woke up with, (laughs) I missed it. I was playing basketball at the gym till two in the morning. Like I was balling out. And, and, so it gives, I think it gives pause. I think it gives a rational sense, a rational thought to the mind before you continue to pursue something that you know may have problems, just be, not even necessarily because of the age, but because of where you are because of your age. Okay, okay. That's valid. That is, that is, that is valid. What about you, Jared? What's, what's up with it? I mean, I probably basically nailed it. <laughs> I mean, there's <laughs> really not, all, not a lot to add to that. But I mean... Age is, like, generally kind of relevant, obviously. Like, there are some 19-year-olds who are mature as shit mm-hmm. versus some, like, 30-year-olds who are like, what are you, like, a 12-year-old? the hell's wrong with you? Yeah. I mean, honestly, like, there could be a slight difference in maturity and you probably could still have a decent relationship. But if there's, like, that big shift, like, once again, going back to you, like, your whole thing is, like, well, now I'm in college and I'm just focused on my education. She's probably at that point going, like, all right, so now I got to buy a house, you know, I'm trying to settle up my car, get all that shit settled up. Well, you know, I'm in school. And... You know, that's going to eventually, eventually it's going to be like, I bust out my ass eight hours a day. It's like, well, I'm in school, you know. <laughs> I'm, <not bad. laughs> that's I'm valid. sorry. That's valid. Because um, cause this is this is the one thing I always preach to my friends. The one thing I always I say age doesn't show maturity, but it shows a level of what you may have experienced. Right. Um, by the time you're 20, most people, when they turn 20, they still haven't encountered life's issues as of yet. Right. Meanwhile, some kids experience life issues by the time they're 13, right? Yeah. Um, my my biggest takeaway, like, like when I was 19, for example, I had a 10-year plan. Like, Kevin's four-year plan, I had a 10-year plan, bro. I, I had an idea what job I wanted to do. I had an idea of what I wanted to learn, what kind of house I want. I was looking at mortgages and shit. I was, <laughs> I was doing shit that, you know, my gramps originally was teaching me, right? That's because I, but this is because I was, you know, I, I'm raised by a fucking 80 year old, right? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Somebody who, who experienced life, you know? Um, but then, then you got to consider the, the gender role in it, right? Uh, put the exact same scenario, but now switch male and female. The male is more prone to still accept that female. Why? Even if he's not in a stable condition. Shit, I just sound you like you got to get a mental disorder. Stable. You want, the, <laughs> you want the scientific answer? Give me both. You know, girl, girl, young, she fertile. Like as dumb as it sounds. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> like, like, 
is it is. Like it is what it is, though. Like that's a, there's a scientific like argument for that. Mm-hmm. There's a reason like men, like historically, usually have are dating a woman that is younger than them. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not saying that's every case we're evolving as a society. Clearly, but back in the day, like it was uh, like I'm talking like caveman like Renaissance era. It was like she oh she, she's young, <laughs> she's young, she's young. We got pop out kids. I'm, the Bible. Go forth and be fruitful. Like he was like, spread the seed, like make some children. Like you can't really do that with an older woman, or, or like the chances of that succeeding are lower. Yeah. So it, I think throughout history, most of history, it's find a younger woman, and that you know can bear children. True. They did. They were dating like what 10, 10 11 year olds, um, in the, what middle medieval eras. They were promised by uh, seven. Not it was so that was more so just like allegiances and alliances between like princes and or like noblemen yeah. and whatnot. But in all reality, when you did get your first period as a woman, mm-hmm. whenever that was, like if you were betrothed, like you were probably getting married and popping out a kid, no matter how young you were, because you had so the ability wild. to do so. That shit is fucking wild and nasty. I mean, I mean, like as as dumb as it sounds. Like again, no, that's back then. Though, I, mean, I mean, I mean, I <laughs> mean. Like, we're animals. Like, it's, it comes down to that. Like, we are, as humans, we are animals at the end of the day. Still. We do have the intellect to think past certain things and have morals and such th- such things as that. Yeah. But in, like, the animal kingdom, it was, oh, you can breed, let us reproduce, because that is how we survive as a species. That's valid. But I don't think that whole I don't think that holds a lot of weight today. If we're being if we're being nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, she's ready. Like let's go. Like no 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 no. So do you do you feel that what 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 we were told as kids is actually true that uh, females mature faster than men? I think that's factual through puberty. Yeah, right. I, I think that's I, a, I think, I think that's more of a physical trait though. Not no, puberty changes your mental mental as well. Yeah. I, I I may be incorrect in saying that, but I I, I believe like the chemical imbalances and or the chemical balances in your brain it does switch. Yeah. Like things things do change mentally as well as physically. I do believe, and girls are known to mature one to two year faster than boys. So what ends up happening? Uh-huh. You have so let's just take let's just give a bunch of eighth graders and ninth graders. Mm-hmm. The eighth grade girls are maturing. And hitting puberty. Mm-hmm. The next year, the ninth grade boys are maturing. So what ends up happening? You have all these eighth grade girls that are now mature. And the closest mature age group of boys to them is the year ahead of them. It's within that like kind of range. Okay. So th- meanwhile, the girls that are mature are like, oh, I'm going to go for a guy who's hit puberty. Not saying that this is really true in every case. Yeah. But then you also have the boys that... Now we're in ninth grade. They're maturing. They're looking back, going, "Oh, they're mature now too," because the girls all in their age group are looking ahead. As okay. as generic as that can be. Because what? Because mm. because one thing I always did was like when I when I paid attention in high school and college and all that, right? And I and I think it just has more with who I surrounded myself around. You know what I mean? But there was a distinction of who would be mature or not, right? But, but then, you, how do you level maturity? Right? How, how do you level that? Is it? See, me, I normally go based off of emotional control, uh, problem solving, um, in, in environment processing, like those kind of things where you could just analyze situations going on and then pick the right choice socially, right? And ha- like, I, I don't know how to word it, but it's basically like there's two there's two things that that came up to mind is like intelligence and wisdom. Wisdom is maturity, right? Wisdom is uh, life maturity, like life intelligence. And then intelligence in, in overall is things like taxes and everything, like process management, you know what I mean? And I always feel like ex- experience and decision-making with that experience is what leads to maturity, right? That's what I always thought about. Can, did you say intelligence with maturity? Or are you saying that's that's separate? Separate. Okay, that's okay. I I miss I thought I, I misheard for a sec because yeah. I I do agree that it's not intelligence is not a sign of maturity at all. No, because you can be a very smart human being, but very be very emotionally immature. Yep, for fact. Is that and again is that a bad thing? 
if you make it work with whoever you surround yourself with, no, not at all. In other situations, it's that's actually one of the worst traits to have: being very intelligent and very being very emotionally immature. Yep. Because you're smart. Because <laughs> sure. you have the intelligence to react in ways that are not good, but you could do it smart, like intelligently, to hurt other people very badly. Yeah, my 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 boy. I'm I'm not gonna name him by name, but I'm gonna call him Jimbo. My boy Jimbo. Jared. Uh huh. <laughs> my boy Jimbo in high school, he got basically a near perfect score on the SATs. Damn. All right. Shit. But this man was the most immature motherfucker you will ever know. <laughs> the most immature. Right. That's that. That was the defining moment where I was like, yeah, there's a fucking difference. Like, <laughs> like no bullshit. Because he would come in, he he would ace your test, but he will not pay attention. He would. You know, disrupt the class, all the other stuff. Like, and then when it comes down to his decision making, probably one of the worst. But put put a pen and paper in front of him with a couple ant, uh, questions. Kill that shit. He gonna he gonna kill it. You know what I mean? Like that's why I was like, all right, there has to be a difference between the two. Like I always thought they went hand huh. in hand growing up, though. I think part of that though, with what I think the first half of what you described as him being immature, it may have also just been boredom. Hmm. In, in like in, in in a class setting, they like, very much so you will see intelligent kids act out when they can destroy the workload that they've been given yeah. because they don't have enough to do. Yeah. They're not challenged at all. I mean, that was I had that issue in a lot some of my math classes. Like, I would I, I think it was algebra one in my high school year. Like I just I'd fall asleep every single day in the back of the classroom. Got like a B plus in the class. Like, I just, but that's fine oh, yeah. though. No, but here it, it, people act out differently. Mm-hmm. Me, I I'll, I keep to myself. I'm an introvert. An extra, if me is an extrovert, yeah, I probably would have acted out more. But instead, like me being me, like I'm like I'm gonna chill back here, take a nap, like <laughs> night night, see y'all, see y'all when the quiz is handed out, kill that shit and be done with it. But the second part, what you were saying, where like his decision making was poor, like that I could see as a sign of bad maturity. Mm-hmm. More so, more so than acting out in the classroom. It's like acting out in the classroom, again. There could be a thousand different reasons for it, but I think part of that is being bored because he was as intelligent as you say he was. Okay. What would you, Jared? I mean, shit. You know, like, honestly, like, I knew there's a couple kids I knew in school that were exactly like that. Like, my one friend, like, he all, like, I swear to God, every class teacher would be yelling his name, but he was smart as shit <laughs> when it came down to it. And then there was, like, the one, you know how there's always, like, the golden student, like, mature as hell, straight A's, knew exactly what he wanted, what he wanted to do. I don't even know what the hell he's doing now, but we were always like, yo, he's probably going to be working for NASA or some shit because of how brilliant this man was. Like, mm-hmm. it, especially, like, high school, very few people are mature in high school because everyone's just kind of fucking around and running around, doing whatever the hell they're going to do. That's, that's but, like, this man is, like, we're outside playing basketball. It's like, oh, yo, where's Bobby? Oh, Bobby's working on programming. Huh? He doing what? He's programming. What? Oh, he does it for fun. <laughs> like he was that he was that type of person. That's some shit. So bro. it's like that man shit. Probably rich. <laughs> probably. She, but she. there was there was just a clear difference. It's like everyone else is like, we're all over here, like having fun. He's like, mm, you know, I'm just designing, you know, the next programming incident for Amazon. What? What you talking about, bro? We playing kickball. <laughs> hey yo, hey yo. You all some shit, dog. Okay. Okay. Now, the thing is, do you think having such a big age difference in dating uh, can lead to a lot of, I don't know how to, I, I, I talked to my friends about this, basically a perk of dominance and, of course, being dominated. Yeah. I mean, not naturally, it's like when you're older, I mean, everyone has sort of everyone has an ego first of all so like especially when you're a lot older than someone's so like 10 years you're gonna be like well i definitely know more than them so whenever you guys will generally have an argument mm-hmm. you're probably gonna assume it's like i'm right i'm older than you i've experienced more therefore i know more than you mm-hmm. which isn't necessarily the case no, so it's not always it yeah. obviously oh, okay. comes yeah. with issues within a relationship it can but, I, mean, it's I was gonna say yeah. i was gonna say jared off that 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 was that would be like a sign of immaturity yeah, like, yeah. Oh, oh, I am older. Oh, I do have again. Like, can't disavow their experiences, but not being able to go. All right, what's their side of the arc? What are they trying to say? Like, what, what is, what are they trying to convey to me? Because mm-hmm. that's why 
the the most common thing I hear from my female friends that do end up dating people a lot older than them is always they try to make me feel stupid. Yeah. You know, um, whenever we get into arguments, he has the final say. Um, he always treats me like as if I'm a kid, all this other stuff. And, you know, you know, guys were kind of kind of simple and straightforward. So when they tell me this shit, I'm like, well, no shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> like no shit you, you dating a dude 10 years older than you like what did you expect because i'd be pissed off myself if i'm 32 getting yelled at by a 22 you know what i mean like, like that's just how it goes but i always say like when you when you walk into a situation in which a person is that much significantly older than you right there are certain things you have to come into mind like Will this person have a some 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 sort of uh, seniority pl- uh, complex in regards to I'm older, I'm more mature than you, so if we get into this and that, my word is basically the truth, right? You're just emotional, right? That's just, that's just how it goes, like half the time. So I always I always think to myself like, okay, why don't we see that in like younger men, older females though? I never see that in that. Because they want some coochie, and they ain't gonna mess that up, knock in. Uh-huh. <laughs> I think I think seeing it the other way is um, in our most relationships in the Plutonic sense are man, alpha dog, woman, more submissive. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like that's like it. That's not even arguable. Like as much as like people want to say like they are equals, yes, hundred mm-hmm. percent. But a majority of relationships are. The man's probably the breadwinner. The woman might be staying at home, might not. Like again, this could be switched depending on the, the um this is the mm-hmm. situation in the relationship. Like I'm not saying it's set in stone. Nine times out of ten though, or maybe not even that much anymore, but a majority of the time, the man is the one that's like out being the out being like the breadwinner or like being the caretaker. No, I should I mean, caretaker. Like we should probably get away from that. Mm-hmm. But in a situation where it's like a thirty two well, he's a thirty two year old and a twenty two year old. A 32-year-old man is probably doing very well for himself in his job if he has the ability to date down that high, mm-hmm. or yeah. he's very insecure about himself and he's not doing that well. So either way, a 22-year-old telling him what he's doing wrong isn't going to be taken as well. Yeah, <laughs> because he's either because he's either set in his ways where like he's had his routine, he's been living, and he's clearly been doing okay for himself, mm-hmm. like it, teaching an old, old dog new tricks kind of thing. Like it's going to be difficult to break him of let's say bad habits of bad situations Mm -hmm. like ways he like does his like laundry or whatever, like whatever the dumb argument is. I think it'll be harder to kind of change and evolve that 32 year old. than you'll get with a 22 year old man who let's be honest, most guys, like you were saying, Duncan, pretty straightforward. Yeah. Simple. If you tell us we're doing something wrong, a fucking a couple times, we're probably going to change. We're probably going to be like, all right, well, he's getting mad at me because I'm being an idiot. (laughs) And I, I feel like that's with a lot of guys. So you either, I think a good chunk of them will like try to fight that. They'll try to fight that. They'll try to fight that. It's like, why fight it? Like, just be like, dude, you're being a dumbass. Like, just fix it. So, kind of deal. So, do you think that? Because I know this is this has also been a topic of discussion. Is that do you think these men or these women look down? Uh, and a part of it has to do with them not able to get somebody in their age age range. I mean. Kind of, because, I mean, you always have to, like, look at this. So it's, like, generally, like, when you, like, I guess they, it's more of a generalization, but it's, like, not all women, most of them want to be taken care of, right? Yeah. So it's, like, I don't want to be at the time. I don't want to be grounded away all the time. So especially if they're, like, the breadwinner in a relationship, like, eventually it's going to irk them <laughs> the wrong way. And it's either going to be, like, they're going to either start break up with the guy they're going to put up, start putting them down constantly because, like, you know, why aren't you above me? Why aren't you doing all this shit? Why aren't you taking care of business? Mm-hmm. Why are you always struggling? And it's just going to eventually cause issues. Because, I mean, it's, I don't Because, once uh, again, it's not. Yeah, go ahead. Because it's not, like, generally, like, just because of how we have been as a society, we're still changing. But it's, like, there was, there's generally a set way most people want it to be. Obviously, it's kind of flipping. It can flip. It will flip and flop. But. Mm-hmm. With with what you said relating to like the woman wanting to be like like not necessarily the caretaker of the family. Like like you said, some do, absolutely. Yeah. I feel though 
if they are looking I feel like they're dating incorrectly if that's what they want they're looking at a younger man hmm. does that make sense because the way the wood scenario you kind of had was like why aren't you above me like why aren't you like bringing in stuff like clearly you're dating someone that much younger than you mm -hmm. you weren't looking for the caretaker of the family hmm. they were more so looking for a relationship so i don't i don't necessarily know that that would cause problems that way mm -hmm. and if it does that's on that's on the woman looking for that younger man and then being like how have you not met the standards of someone my age mm. yeah, how are you not 22 making six figures <laughs> like come on like, again very possible yeah i think with an older woman younger man dynamic i don't i, th I, th I don't really know necessarily I've, i'm finding it difficult to come up with the issue scenarios just strictly based off age mm -hmm. just for, like again coming back to like what i said before like if you make it work your age doesn't really matter yeah no. stay away from children you fucks like i don't like, that's <laughs> the one thing like, like i think mean, i'm being serious like that's yeah. the one thing it's just like that's like that's we're very light on that crime like that needs to be like life sentence death penalty surprisingly light shit. actually I it's mean, horrendously yeah. light I did not realize cause it. Because, I, mean, I mean, we're at the point now in society where um, sugar mamas and um, sh no, sh yeah, sugar mamas and sugar daddies are, are normal. Cougars. Right, cougars, <laughs> right? And it seems that their parameters are getting less and less older, if you know what I'm saying. Like, normally it's a young man who's, you know, trying to get through college. Hey, I'll pay for your tuition. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know, that kind of, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. it's starting to get to, like, 18-year-olds, right? Like, I'll buy you a new PlayStation or some shit, right? And they're slowly, <laughs> slowly starting to drift into around 17, 16-year-old area, but not in a sexual manner as of yet. So that turns, into, that turns into grooming, and that's a whole other topic. Uh... <laughs> of just like, it just... If they're a child, don't talk to Like, I don't know how to explain that. Like, in no form. Like, you can be nice to them. Don't be getting them gifts. Don't be, like, persuading them in two years to be dogging you in the back of your car. Like, there's none of that. Like, no. Like, just stay away from children. See, see and then, then it comes down to what do you, what is a child to you? What age range? I, I so, I'm going to stick with what the laws we have in place are. Uh -huh. I'm going to stick with that. I'm not I'm not going to get into an argument around that. Mm -hmm. Other than if you're 18, yeah, do what the hell you kind of want. Is it morally ambig ambiguous if you're older to be talking to like 18, 19 year olds? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Can I really say anything? No, because that's the eyes of the law. That's what we, have as, we as a society has come to terms with and agreed upon that anything less than that is a big no-no. Which countries I forget? I forget there are certain countries that uh, eight like age of consent and things like that is like 16, 14, some shit like that. Yeah. I believe. I'm trying to remember. Parts of the so, world. I know Japan. Japan is yeah lower. No, 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 no. So Japan's weird. So it's it it's I believe it's twelve. But hold on, that <laughs> is not. No, 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 no. So, but it's based. I think that was just like the national minimum, but then like the districts themselves have minimum age requirements, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Yeah, like so age. like technically on the nation, like, yeah, you can do a 12 year old, but in the district, you're going to get like a fuck ton of trouble. This says 13, that. but I mean, I don't know if that's generalized or not. So I, th I think, I believe what it is though, is like the districts have, or like the way they break themselves out, have their own like age of consent laws. Okay. On top of it. So it's like it's just like state and federal laws in a sense. Okay. Stefan says Brazil but, and but, Ecuador are fourteen. Yeah. So. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. It's just terrible, dude. Like, I don't say. There's nothing to say. Like, oh god. Because like. Oh god. Like you, Matt. Like I mean, legitimately, like. Us as we are now could be talking to fourteen year olds in those countries and doing whatever the hell we want with them. Like that's just that's terrible. But is that carryover from the old days though, or is it just it is what it is now? Clearly, it was if it was a problem, it would have been changed. Listen, listen, fair like, enough. Like this, this, is, this, and then we could dive into like sex culture and shit like that. But um, 
Cause America's I, getting real bad. Cause remember, America's getting real bad. I remember middle school, if you lost your virginity, mind you, we're like 12 and 11 and te- uh, 13 in middle school. If you lost your virginity, you was the shit. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people, a lot of people tend to lose their virginity around 16, right? But then like the you, look, 15, you, yeah. you look back it's at actually it. actually lowering. You know what I'm saying? And then you look back at it and go, bro, we were children. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> I heard, dude, for me, like, first experience with that stuff was like sixth grade. It was like, bro, this chick gave a dude a blowjob. Yep, I'm, yep. like, 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 no. I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there, like, I, w- I was the minority in my middle school. I was the white kid. Like, I, w- I was the minority. Like, it was just like, we had, uh, we had like a mix of, we were a mixed bag of everything. Mm-hmm. It was like 10% Indian, 10, 20% Asian, 20% black, 20% Hispanic. Like, we just had everybody. Yeah. I'm sitting there, I'm like, hey, what the fuck is a blowjob? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, like, I'm like, are we still playing Call of Duty or like what? Like, what are we doing later tonight? Like, we get on, we, we, we get on Halo 3, like, we playing some custom games. Like, what are we doing? Yeah. Like, for me, like, and I don't necessarily think that, like, looking back on it, I'm glad I didn't fucking do anything for a majority of my time in middle school. I didn't do anything, actually. Didn't yeah. do a damn thing. Didn't yeah. even kiss a girl. Bro, like, that stuff is so overblown at that age group. Because, like, like, you get into a situation where that could F, some, that could F a middle schooler up. Yeah, oh, it does. It's yeah. not, I mean, I mean, you have the potential for pregnancy at middle school. Like, what? Like, like that's just not no. Like correlation, probably not causation, but correlation. Uh, a good chunk of the middle schoolers I knew, uh, especially females, by the ones that I had sex between, just entering high school and middle school, so like ninth grade down. Those those people are, as you would say, the people that like to show off their shit. You know what hmm. I mean? On Facebook and whatnot, right? For about, about three, four, five kids, you know what I mean? Like, by the age of 20, like, that's where they're at now, right? And I'm here sitting here like, that, that has to be something that fucked them up, though. Like, they, they were introduced too early, in my opinion. Um, <laughs> it's the <laughs> No wonder this man is a, is good at Call of Duty. He puts KD he over puts booty. KD over booty. <laughs> like, as stupid as that sounds, though, like I've I've interacted with a person. It was actually for those of you that know my ex girlfriend's old roommate, and the way she had sex described to her, like from a younger age, was like. Don't make it this fearful thing. Like, kind of enjoy it, yep. and like go out and do it. The problem was, I, she's sleeping with everybody under the sun. Like this chick was like, she was like, she was like told us she's like, yeah, my body counts like twenty three, and she was fucking eighteen. I'm she like, out here Whoa. with the Jordan, like, yeah. I'm like, and yo, here's, yo and here, step and back. Here's, <laughs> and here's and here's the thing. If a guy had told me that same thing, I'd have been like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with him? Yeah, I, like I, I think. Like, I think that the culture of, like, it's slut shaming for girls and, like, chads for men. Like, I think it's, you're just you're shit, kind of shitty both ways. That, that's, the shit, that's the shit that does piss me off when I hear people talk that's... about um, uh, a slut men, is a slut. men, men I mean... getting praised for conquering. I'm like, this ain't the 80s and 70s and high school jocks saying, yo, I bagged a chicken. You know what I mean, we're not there. Like. If, I'm trying to find a wife, like, what's like, up? Man, like, the issue, <laughs> the issue is, right? The issue, the, yeah, that's the only time I actually laugh when a guy has a lot of bodies was Adam Sandler's, uh, was it, Gigolo? Uh, what was it? Um, um uh, it was I know, what you, I know the movie you're talking uh, about. Yeah, you know what I'm talking Hilarious. about? It was, it was American Gigolo or some shit like that. I don't know. But other than that. Deuce Bigelow. Deuce yep. Bigelow. There you go. <laughs> that's, that's my boy. Um. Other than that, bro, whenever some dude constantly had sex with, with a different female every other week or every other month and things like that, we didn't praise that, man. We didn't no, dap them up. Right? Shit. We ain't Don't doing none like of that, bro. Person. We looked at them like, damn, fam, you about to catch something or something, <laughs> right? And then we looked at the female like, damn, how'd you not know about him? Like, yeah, you know I mean, like, <laughs> but but I, I do blame society. I do blame music videos. I do blame artists. I do blame all these icons out there because sex is no longer an important thing anymore it's a casual thing right mm-hmm. 
I could literally go outside on the street, find a random girl, right? Find 10, 20 random girls, right? No matter how they look. Right? I could probably get to sleep with at least two of them. Well, I want to, hell no, right? Because I ain't going to sleep with just anybody. But we're in society now where that shit is no longer important. That shit is just like, you, you got some dick. It's like, like bro, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's here we go. Right, here we go. You got a friend? <laughs> there, you, there, you, there you go. Right, that's, just, that's just how it is. And, and as kids, we're, we're introduced to that. Right? We're introduced to casual sex, right? And, the, and it's normally the adults that tell us, or not, not tell us, but they <laughs> advertise, right? If, oh shit! Hold on. If you want yo, that's how. Yo, I. Dude, yo, I'm generally curious how people feel like when they wife porn stars. Like I, I really gotta know what's going through your head at the time. How was oh. work today, honey? Big and long. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> First of all, like. like we're, how's your sex life with them? Because well, they've so, been fucking all day. So I, I mean, I think the I think that takes that to literally the extreme of what we were talking to. Like, mm. sex to them isn't a important part. It's not. Like it, it. It's just a thing, and that's and that's what it's becoming through like the porn industry, through like you're saying, like uh, the culture of America. What I mean, I don't want. I don't know if like culture or race. I should bring into it, but like I think there are certain cultures and races that emphasize it more than others yeah, at this point in time. I think yeah. it, I think it's definitely pushing that totally like America in general is definitely moving towards that direction. I'm not saying it's just like, it's strictly black Hispanic or whatever one way or the other. I'm just saying like we are as a whole, but I think there are certain driving factors from that. And I don't, I don't think it's a positive one. <laughs> no, I, I, in my opinion, it's not. Like, I always viewed sex as this important thing. Uh, you guys are making somewhat of a commitment to each other, like, all this other stuff. And it wasn't, I mean, high school was amp, but when I got to college, fam, and I, I felt like, oh, my God. And I started finding about how the athlete was in this dorm and then this dorm and then the dorm next to me. And the, uh, Man, I got so pissed one day, bro, and now I'm like, I kid you not, bro. This is personal, I'm sorry. But it was one day, right? I had just broken up with my girlfriend, so I ain't getting nothing, right? I'm not. I'm just not getting nothing, right? And this, and I had an empty room. I had a single suite, and I had an empty room, like, on the other side, right? Mind you, the, the walls are kind of thin, right? Yeah. This bitch moves in. Sorry for calling you a bitch, but you was a bitch anyway. But <laughs> moves in, right? I see motherf- tall ass motherfucker, the tallest motherfucker in the team, the team's history. I see him walking my hallway. Mind you, my hallway is full of the honors kids. I'm the black kid. Like everybody else is just honor kids, right? I don't know what it was. They just they just wanted the hallway to be special. <laughs> if they were uh, they were they were meeting the uh, oh what is it? Oh, what the hell is it called? Like in the workplace. Let me see. Oh my god, I can't think of it. I feel like I know what you're talking about. They, they need like the demographics. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, like it was all the honors kids and then the black kid, right? Mm. Moves into move. Uh, she moves in, right? Not even, not even a week or two later. Not even a week or two later. Mind you, I was enjoying peace, right? There's nobody there, <laughs> right? My boy on the other side of the suite, uh, he plays Yu-Gi-Oh cards and shit, so we play Yu-Gi-Oh like every other day, right? Wait, 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 Andrew? No, 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 no. His, oh, his name, his, name, his, his name was Chris. You know, his name was Chris. I thought it were Chris. He's, he's good too. Nah, he left. He left your the year you came in. My freshman year. I think I heard of him. You you talked about him before. Yeah. All right. So, next thing I hear, right? I'm watching Samurai Jack. I'm on my TV, fam. Next thing I hear, I hear. Right. So I'm sitting here like that's some loud music, right? Turn off my turn up my shit, right? <laughs> I'm like. Oh, fuck no, right? <laughs> I'm like, oh, hell no, dog. I ain't about to hear this shit, and I'm not getting none, yeah. right? <laughs> I start banging back. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. <laughs> oh, shit. This, this mo- Yo, these motherfuckers stop. <laughs> they stop 10 seconds later. And I was so pissed. I was like, damn, already? <laughs> I came back. <laughs> bro, 
ruined the whole no! vibe. No! Yeah, bro. He never came <laughs> back to the door! The <laughs> ultimate cock block. Oh, shit. <laughs> he never came back to the dorm, fam. And then somebody else came into the dorm. It wasn't him anymore. And I'm like, damn, already? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here like, this has to be a new record, dog. There's no way. And then... <laughs> Dougie was warming up the fist. He's like... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. I mean, I made sure I wasn't in that room when that shit was happening, dog. Because uh, I'm, la- I'm a light owl, so... That shit was like 3 a.m., 2 a.m. type shit. Like, the sneak, the sneak Yo, links, you know what I mean? Nah, you ass off you doing that throughout those hours. Like, come on, bro. People trying to sleep. Bro, it's People Fournier, work. too. Like, the, the <laughs> halls echo. The halls echo and shit, bro. The rooms echo. Everything echoes, bro. The rats echo. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but, fucking cockroaches. They yeah. fucking... But, but that's the thing. And I'm sitting here like, this is different from what I was used to. Because even in high school, most of the time in high school... Sex was this sacred thing. I get to college and it's it's casual, right? And even people that just met somebody, let's say the night of or the day before, they're having sex. I'm sitting there like, how, how did you do that? <laughs> like, 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 why would you do that? You don't know. You probably got an STD. She probably got an STD. You don't know these things, right? Like condoms, yeah. But condoms are 99%, you know what I mean? But... I'm sitting here like, how is this so casual for you guys? Like, who who taught you guys that this was just casual? You know, like, are you are you guys gonna be in a relationship after and all that stuff? Nope, nope. Pump and dump. <laughs> I'm never I'm never gonna look at her in the eyes again. Like that's how it is. <laughs> like, that's, just, that's just how it goes. Like, like, like it's happened though. Like I've seen it happen. Or it's just like, oh, they hooked up. It's like, are they cool now? Oh, they don't even acknowledge each other. Yeah, they, they don't like, talk. Like, was, was it was it that bad? Like, goddamn. Like. Is like it's still, like. I hate oh my god, bro! I hate the plot. <laughs> bro, you do. I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now. Catholic girls are fucking freaks. You heard it here from the I've, no. I, from you, you heard it from a guy who went to a Catholic private high school. Hmm. They are literal animals. Yo, Christian schools were dirty as fuck. Like, it was such a lie. Like, I've gone to Catholic you, Christian schools my whole life. So they you, dirty. Want know, so, like, you, you want to know, like, the argument for it? Like, if you let a child explore their sexuality, like, on their own, they're probably going to be more vanilla. Like, I think for me, like, I got into pornography at a very young age. It's like, I'm not into, like, super crazy shit. Mm-hmm. But when you suppress a child and you're like, all right, don't do this. It's a sin, terrible, the devil, like, blah, like you, you're like, it's a horrendous, terrible thing. They're going to act out more. Oh, yeah. They're going to be like, I want to do everything. <laughs> I want that train. <laughs> That's what he said. Here, here. Where, where's the basketball team at? Let him come <laughs> in. But then, how the fuck do we get here? <laughs> at a certain, at a certain somebody. How the fuck do we get here? Oh yeah, age difference. Age. Run, and, run and train on somebody. Age difference, goddamn. Uh, age difference. Yeah. Talk to children, you fucks. Yeah, As no, the, no goal, no the best line I got. Now, do you think? Do you think guys who, again, who are about forty, maybe have some kids and all that shit, bro? Like probably at that point in life, I think, I think, I think by the time people are forty, most of the time they probably have a kid if they were looking for them during life. Um, do you think them going after? a female younger than the age of 25, let's say. Do you think that has some root of liking children? No. I I think think a 25-year-old is very different from a Mm 14-year-old. I think a 25-year-old is, at most times, a a fully mature woman. Mm -hmm. While as, like, even though that age difference 10 years ago would have been 15 and 30, Mm -hmm. you that's not the same like a 50 like that that woman in the 15 year old body in the tw- compared to the 25 year old body because i know like who, who a lot a lot of people when when they see those age differences right they go <laughs> they go you was in high school when she was born <laughs> yeah but then at the same time you're like you're not like i was not trying to bang her when she was just coming out <laughs> true very true it's true though like it is it's true it's true like, like when we're in middle school, who are we trying to like hook up with? Oh, the middle shoot. school girls. No, nah, I was trying to hook up with my teacher. She was bad. I also true. Also <laughs> true. 
few. Like how how that's sort of handled with male teachers and uh, versus female teachers. Hold so on, like, hold on. Hold on. Before we start that, before we start okay. that, right? Gotcha, you, gotcha. You're going there after I said this. I'm going to that. <laughs> Fuck all these kids right now that have all these banging ass teachers that are my age, 25 and shit, right? And, and I had the 80, 90 year old with Georgia. every every Who time she say two plus two, a little bit of <laughs> dust come out with the with the upper lip got no lip balm and shit. So you got the Little flakes and shit, like, <laughs> like, damn! I lost my dentures on question two. Like, I fucking hate. I f- Fuck y'all kids. All right, go ahead, go ahead, Jerry. Go ahead, do your thing. No, but it's just, it's, it's just interesting to see how it's always handled so differently. So it's like, anytime you see this, like, a male house got high school teacher was having sex with like the like fifteen year old. We were like, you know, crucify that dude, burn him, kill him. But you switch it, and it's like the older teacher having sex with the young, the young male student. They're like. Every time you go into the article and read the comments, like there is rarely, if ever, like any like people going like, "Oh, she's disgusting." Hmm. It's always, "Hey, he lucky as shit." Hey, he got bad game. Hey, go for you, boy. Hey, yeah. and I'm just always like, "Bro, that shit's still mad illegal and destructive to the kid. That's not good." That is like no, this I, shit, I, like, yeah. it's crazed and it's is really weird. You want to take this? No, it's a it's a, just another double standard. I mean, we, we have. We're, we have a lot of those in society, and that is very much one of them. Like, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. I, I think... I think... I think being a guy is a lot more difficult than people make it out to be. Because, like, as much as people want to... Like, I'll use, like, the dumb, like, male privilege. Like, as much as that is a thing, though, like... We, we don't get a lot of help a lot of the time. <laughs> True. Like... I saw something today. I saw something like this morning about um, like th- something on TikTok where this girl was like upset because her mom was like gonna kick her out because she wasn't paying rent or something. Yeah, I seen that. I seen and, that. Like, yeah, and like she started crying, and I think she was like in the process of like switching genders or whatever. Like whatever, do you? Like she was crying and like getting all upset, and it was like, could you imagine if a guy did that? Like, don't get me wrong. She got crucified for what she did. But, like, if a guy did that, like, if I did that at my age, I it would have been ten times worse. Like a laughing stock. Like, we can't – we don't get – we can't get away with things. I don't want to say get away with things. Like, the way we interact and have to deal and react to situations, we have to react very differently than a woman has to a lot of the time. Even, even, even though there are male privilege, we still have limitations on what we can and can't. Look, look, I get the male privilege. You get off the, the sinking ship first. Like, get over it. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's facts, actually. That's, that, that's bro, fact. Like, Children and... I don't want to die. First bro. of all, first of all... Here, all right, bro. Like, you know, fuck them kids, all right? Because we can make more. All right? That's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> the, the miss of the point here. <laughs> He's not worth anything for, like, another 10 years. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, oh, shit. shit. That is, women and children first. But then the, Why, women, and, the women and children is because of the indication that men will most likely survive that situation and a woman and child would not in comparison. That bullshit. It's because protecting <laughs> women and kids. Well, that's not bullshit. <laughs> Dude, ain't, you, you in the water in the Titanic, I don't care if you're Michael Phelps. You're going down, buddy. That's a negative like two degrees Celsius <laughs> listen, in that listen, bitch. Listen, but that door, <laughs> that, that door, I'm just saying, that door that was floating, you know, Okay, all I'm saying <laughs> women are more buoyant than men. Why the fuck can't, why can't we? We sink like rocks in the ocean. Y'all got a higher fat percentage. That's not fair. Not fair. Not fair. He's an ass holding you up. Meanwhile, skin and bones over here. <laughs> we sink down. like rocks. <laughs> Do you know how oh. dense I was? I was so dense in college. I legitimately could take two pool noodles, sit on them in the pool, and I would sink to the bottom of our pool. Same. I did not I, float. I had no, I was not buoyant at all. Damn. Meanwhile, my mom's just like, what's up? <laughs> She's like, oh, let me hold on to this leaf. It'll keep me afloat. Hey, to... yeah. Help. Yeah. I'm I'm like, meanwhile, I'm going to work out and just try. I'm like, gotta stay up. God gotta stay damn, up. bro. <laughs> because I hated that too. Because when they try to teach you, they're like, you got to, you got to, you got to press your stomach up. It's like, I don't have fat. That's the problem. Dude, like, Carly, Carly would be like, all right, just float on your back. I'm like, all right, here I go. I'm drowning. <laughs> I'm like, can you can you hold me up? She's like, what are you doing wrong? I'm like, what do you mean? What am I doing wrong? I'm there's nothing on me. There's nothing that floats here. Oh shit! What the fuck? 
You don't need to gut my, like when you kill me, you don't need to gut me. Like I'm just I'll be at the bottom. Don't worry about it. <laughs> some shit, dog. You know, some shit. Oh my god. All right. Guy privilege. <laughs> Goddamn guy privilege. <laughs> no, I mean I, I mean like is like we can get away from the topic, but like my last point is just like it's a give and take. Yeah. When it comes to like being a man and woman, like there's certain societal norms that a man gets that a woman doesn't. There's certain societal norms that a woman gets that a man doesn't. Yeah. Like, like I can't go to the park, and just like, uh, do this sound weird as hell? Like I can't go to the park, like sit down on a park bench and just like enjoy the day, like see like kids playing, like families hanging out. Like I, immediately people are gonna be like, oh, what's that guy doing? Oh shit! He's, like he's eyeing up kids. Like a woman does that, nobody thinks twice. He's fucking you know right. I mean? <laughs> he's fucking you right. With your kid, like you're a kid. You I'm immediately do it. That dude. is a pedophile, dude. He's like he's touching that little girl. That isn't his daughter. Like dude, like the mom does it. Same thing. Like a like a woman does it. Couldn't even be their kid. You're more likely to have like a friend take your child to the park, not be questioned. That's a woman. Mm. But like you as a father take your kid to the park, and people will be like. You touching her like what the fuck this is my daughter <laughs> so like as, as terrible as that sounds like we've gotten to that point in society where like it's no longer like i mean like a good example is like my dad it was like he's like sorry time man that son was out we were out that son came down we were back in did mom and dad know where the hell we were at any point in the day absolutely no. not <laughs> no. oh, we shit. can like, all right oh shit all right all right, all right. so this this is sum up these couple of things. Uh, first thing is 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 dating is dating someone of significant age difference an issue really, or is it just past a certain age it's no longer an issue? The second part, yes. The first part, if if it's if relationship if the relationship has issues because of the age difference. Mm-hmm. From outside sources, mm-hmm. those people can get over themselves. Okay. If it's causing issues internally, yes, it's a problem. A- again, it's all situational. I feel like though, like if you're too mature, consenting adults, your age doesn't really matter. Fuck it, go for it. Yeah, like Savon says, like every relationship has its issues. Mm-hmm. If age is one of them, if that's an issue, like it's an issue. If you can work through it, you can work through it. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Um, do you feel that? People are introduced to sex too early. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've incorrectly, yes, if that Fair makes enough. sense. I feel like there's a way to introduce sex that doesn't make it so casual. But I'll be honest, like I my first sexual my first like time having sex was when I was twenty. Yeah. And I thoroughly enjoyed those moments with that other individual. Yeah. And we did and a lot of it was like there's a difference between having sex and making love. Yeah. Uh, I very I very much stand by that. And some of the the better ones were us just like being intertwined with each other making love more so rather than all right, we're just fucking. Okay. So, that was actually leads into my next one. Do you think society should lean back in towards uh having sex with a significant person or should they at least continue on the trend or should we just leave it alone that, you know, sex is more casual now? I mean, it, it is more casual now. I, I will say that I don't going back is going to be very difficult, okay. but at the same token, like raise, raise your kid. Like I kind of want to raise my kids. Like how I explained it. It's like, like really you only get, you should really be having sex with everybody under the sun. Like it should be saved for someone you find very special in your life. Mm. Um, because it makes it that much more enjoyable when you do do it with that individual rather than you spread it around and like say you do find the one like oh when you finally do find the one all you know how to do is fucking hit it and quit it you're like oh how do i like be passionate with this person like yeah. you might not know how to do that if you have slept with everybody else i mean also i don't think you can go back just because of once again when we were growing up is very different from how things are now so like once again just the availability of like just sexual content now versus when we were back back then is very different so you can't exactly shield your kid from it you can try but there's so many ways to access it i don't think shielding it is correct i i think it comes back to my like catholic schoolgirl argument or maybe like, you, don't have, you don't have to be a, 
Are you saying more so like preventing them from doing it or like uh, understanding? So, I guess more of the understanding part, because like, like now they can just pop their phone, bam, porn. Oh yeah, and, instantly. And you can't really like sit down and talk to them. It's like versus way back, our parents sat us down. We're like, hey, y'all, here's the deal. That's it. Versus now, it's just like they're gonna experience that well before you can sit down and get to them. Yeah, yeah I mean, and it's and it's a thing of like, should sex ed be taught in school or at home? I, honestly. I think both. I, it's, bo- it's, it's both. It's both. Yeah. I I think I think it is both. both. I, I agree. Because because at home has a more personal feel. It's people that you actually understand. School is going to be formal because everybody learns differently, right? School's the school's the mechanics of it. Yeah, like, I, it's going to tell you how and shit. Right? Yeah, you know I mean, yeah, I think at school I don't need to listen to like. Oh, you're gonna get emotionally attached, blah 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 blah. Like, because like I saw it in high school. Like when you saw like girls lose their virginity for the first time, hey, dude, they were all over their guy. Like, you just tell you'd be like, hmm, something's a little different with her. And it's like very very obvious to me, as like someone who was an outsider from that, hmm. is like they're acting different. Yeah. And like my dad even told me, he's like, I'm gonna know the day you have sex. He's like, you're gonna be different. And I think it does change you. It does. And I don't, it, it changes you. And if you use and if you use it as a tool for just pleasure, mm-hmm. you're you're pro- you're distorting something that could be ten times more beautiful. I believe. Of course. Of course. Okay. 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 Uh-huh. Don't touch kids. It's not funny. I don't know why are we laughing. Like, don't touch kids. Like, uh, there's nothing else to say. Look, and if you have those urges, look, this is if you're in the if you're in the chat, talk to somebody. You are in the wrong. Oh, you're not. You're not. You're not gonna be able. You can't convince me interacting with a child in any sexual manner is a good thing, even if that's how you want to argue. That's how you were born. Get some help. Talk to somebody before somebody puts you down, because like that's how some people work in this world. Pedophiles don't do well in prison. They usually show up and everyone goes. That's a kid fucker. Beat Shake his ass. The fuck out of him. Literally kill him. Like people are like, oh, I'm getting out in a month. Oh, you touched a kid. Give me the shank. Like I'm like I'll go to jail. Like, I mean that's how it is. Like that's right. one thing. No, society. No, exactly right. like, <laughs> society hates fucking pedophiles, bro. Uh, it's getting weird. It's and getting it's iffy. No, it's no it's, question. It's getting, it's getting iffy on. They're trying to little... push it to be a sexual yeah, it, but, it, but that's that's bad. because of the slippery slope. I, and it's getting, it's getting, it's getting close. And like I, it, th- there shouldn't be a debate with touching children. Like, it's, no, no, it's just, it should, it should not, it should not. Like the, the, anybody it, that makes, anybody that makes that argument, you're wrong. I, no, of course, it, no. <laughs> the issue was a gate opened for them to walk through because of certain yeah. words. <laughs> it's, sexu- it's, it's sexuality. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. You know, once once you say, once you open the door to, you can't help what you like. Oh my. <laughs> like no, you know what I'm talking like, but you you know how it is like. Once you open that door, it's like all right, but you gotta realize that door is not open, so anything else can come through saying the same shit. Mm. All right, all the sickos and everything they can come through, <laughs> necrophiliacs, all that other shit. I, mean, I like dead bodies, <laughs> you know that kind of yeah. people. Yeah, like yeah. that's just that's the slippery slope. And whenever I yeah. say there's a slippery slope, people be like, no, there isn't. It's like you clearly don't know what slippery slope is then. <laughs> it's slippery. It's just like <laughs> it's a consi- it's a consistency thing. It's a right? oh, fucking hate the Oh shit! Oh, this is a I, hate you. I, hate you. I, I it it comes down to a consistency thing, because like being gay isn't a choice. Is their argument? Being trans is a choice. And like being a pedophile isn't a choice. Like you just are what you are. That's like, all right. Like, what is it? Like they're they're all different things. Keep in mind, but like you have that's how they kind of slip in. They're like, well, they are born that way. Like I'm born that. I'm born attracted to kids. Like you're born effed up in the head. <laughs> like we need to fix that. That's a mental disorder. Nice. It, that's a mental disorder. Maybe. Super straight over here. All right, listen. <laughs> on, on that point. <laughs> On that point, okay, we we done for the night. Yeah, right, we actually went for an hour this time. I, know, I thought it was gonna be a thirty minute. That was good though. That's good. That's good. Uh, we we kind of tangent it, but the I think nah, the main when we got yeah no yeah the main the main there's only so much you could talk about with aid. It's kind of like is it okay to date far apart? Yeah, if not, eh. Yeah, the last thing I do say 
uh, before we go. Um, I do think people should be more open to, in regards to uh, age difference based off of gender, right? Like, I do believe you shouldn't overlook somebody. And again, it's at a certain age, right? Overlook somebody because of their age instead of looking at their maturity itself. Right. Cause again, I got people, I got 32, 33, 35 year olds in my DMs talking about, yo, can, can you help me with this real quick? Like, how'd you do this? Did you do this? Yo, can I help with this? Like, with this in life? Like, uh, yeah. like these motherfuckers were coming to me. Shit, even when I was 19, right? When I was a sophomore in college, I had seniors coming to my dorm, like, yo, don't, how you do this? You know, can you talk to me about this and that? How do I do this with my girl? Uh, you know what I mean, like, just all that. So, I do be, I do believe we should get rid of the old, like, men should be older, women should be younger, that kind of thing. And just go based off the person. You know, that's just, that's just it for me. A uh, certain age. All right? I got to emphasize that shit because I don't want no slippery slopes. You see what I'm talking about? <laughs> oh, shit. But nah, boo. Um, so, that's it. Uh, next week, we're going to be talking about the prison system. Uh, basically, more prisons. <laughs> oh, sorry, is that the, is that the, wrong, is that the wrong answer? Sorry, this man. <laughs> uh, we're gonna be talking about sentences, uh, difference in sentences. Should they be shortened or lengthened based off now, crime. Now's the verb. Uh, rehabilitation. rehabilitation compared to punishment. You know, I'll, I'll be straight. I'm gonna answer you here now. I think prison ain't supposed to be about rehabilitation, to be honest. I think, I think they put that shit there like, hey, listen, you don't wanna be here no more. Yeah, don't do no more crime. <laughs> so, like, you know how basically there's like jail versus prison? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, jail should, like re- short jail should be rehabilitation, and then prison is should be for like. Oh, yeah, no. Get the key, toss that bitch. I think, yeah, like I think that's jail how is always be. jail is always local. Yeah, yeah, it is. But yeah. I, but still, like, like even if you go to jail versus prison, like it still has severe effects on your life because like, oh, you went to jail. What happened? You no, know, it's on your record. They can see that shit. Yeah, Pr- prison is always a certain location. Oh, are yeah. you gonna t- are you gonna talk about um the after effects of yes prison yes, sentencing because yeah. I, I i will agree i think i think there is an issue with that with certain things because oh, yeah. like you you've been giving a sentence but then you serve it you were like you're like restricted on what you can do after you've served your time for the crime you have committed yep be all that and that probably might yeah that, that be might be longer than an hour dog that's gonna be longer than an hour for sure so let me see we can start that one around See, Kev, you know I'm going to get home, what, six, seven? You can start. Uh, I'm weird. Depends <laughs> if I run or not. I got you, I got you. So we can start that you, one around you, seven. You two, you two start it. Like if, I, might, I might not jump in. I might, it, might, it depends how I feel on Tuesday. All right, I got you. So we're going to oh, start stuff. that one, seven o'clock. Hopefully, start, by right? nine. Yeah. If, it's, if it's too interesting, we can go fucking nine, thirty, ten. Don't fucking matter. <laughs> All right. That's going to be fire. <laughs> I love that shit. So, Stefan... Uh, appreciate you for always coming through to these, man. Always appreciate you. Uh, shout out to everybody that came through. Shout out to Kevin. Shout out to Ragnum Rock Doom. <laughs> Go, man. <laughs> oh, shit. We appreciate y'all, and, you know, y'all have a good one. <laughs> you sure you're not going to have this? Uh, no. <laughs>